obviously we've got France first as a warm up and then you know three games against probably the number one uh, side in the in the world so yeah, I can't wait. Is a change as good as a rest for you guys? It is a long year, isn't it? I mean, bodies and minds must be a bit mm. battered at this stage, but you come here now, new group of guys, and yeah. almost a, a clean start again. Yeah, that's it. It's always great to sort of come into camp with the English boys, and living in Australia, I probably miss that a little bit, the camaraderie that you have with your, your fellow countrymen. So I always look forward to this time of year and coming in and getting amongst it with the English lads and a bit of crack. And, you know, it's. No matter what they say, it's a bit different, uh, the sort of uh, banter in, in Australia compared to England. So it's it's great, it's great, mate. And you know, we had the fight over with a few of the boys there, like James Graham, uh, Gareth Willip, and Josh Hodgson, and Maka was even on that flight. So we got in on Saturday, and this was the first session today. So um, we'll get the rest of the grand final boys on Wednesday, and we're good to go. You'll know, obviously, a lot of the Kiwi boys will play against them week in, week out in the NRL. Yeah. This must be a challenge you're looking forward to. Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, they've got, I think, probably all NRL boys in there and they'll have a great side, whoever they end up picking or whoever's fit. So there's some big boys too, you know, a few people talking about Martin Tapao. So, yeah, there's some big boys there and there'll be a big test, uh, especially at the front. Any flashbacks to the uh, semi-final? Obviously, we all won for that, don't we, in the World Cup? Yeah, I know. Well, I, I didn't play in that game. I just missed. I was, uh, I think, 18th man or something in that game. But yeah, it's definitely um, disappointing just even watching from the sidelines and to get, um, you know, just tipped at the end of the game like that. Um, yeah, you don't forget it. So it's some, um, no, not not something that we'll probably talk about a, a great deal, but it'll be in the back of the, some of the boys' minds who played probably. In the Super League, we feel our competition's getting better. We feel the gap's getting smaller. Do you yeah. feel that as well? Yeah, well, I think um, this new system that they've brought in this year has brought a lot of hunger into the playing. And you know, at the end of the day, now if you if you don't, you know, win your games, you, you might not you're not guaranteed to be in Super League. So I, I think that's been a good aspect for for the league. And um, obviously, bringing it down to eight eight teams after a bit it brings up the uh, the sort. Of, you know, don't dilute it as much, and I think it's good um, being able to watch a few games this year, and and even going to the grand final on Saturday, it was you know a great standard, and it was just you know just a nail biting finish on it, and even look at what, watching the NRL grand final and then the Super League grand final, you know they want you know they want much in it. And looking at it, we normally used to see more than one Burgess brother mm. on the plane over. Just yourself this year. Um, yeah, no, they're dropping like flies, aren't we? I know. Uh, you'll have been expecting to see your brother playing rugby union, won't you? That's not going to happen for you just yet. No, well, that's. Uh, I watched a few games last year uh, when I was over here, but yeah, it, it's uh, George obviously had to get that little clean out on his hip, and you know he, he needed to do that. I think that was a solid decision for him, and I think it, down the line it, he'll probably end up playing more games for England uh, to the was the back end of his career. So solid decision, and uh, Luke. Luke had missed out too with his, well, he put himself out of selection because he had a, a, a tore his ACL this year, ruptured his ACL. So they're, they're both out, and then obviously uh, Sam. So, um, Are you giving him some ribbon for going to play rugby union? Or? Oh, I know. It, we did at first, but he's sort of, it's been a good, I think he's had a good experience doing it. And this year has been a, you know, a bit of a whirlwind for him. He's played for Bath and then he's uh, gone into the England camp and he's done. You know, tremendously well to get to do, even do that. So, yeah, he's had a great experience, and you know, it's not over yet. I don't think he's um, it's finished just yet. You know, he's he's got still got two more years left with Bath. So, we'll see what happens there. And what about yourself? The NRL treating you well? You enjoying it? Yeah, mate, it's awesome. Living the lifestyle out there as well is just it's great. And I've got my, my mum out there and my two brothers and my, my little my little niece now and she's, she's getting on it's good to see her growing up and um, yeah, we, we've got a great life out there and South is a, a great club too and uh, enjoy it there.